In this video, I'll show you how to run a full flight analysis on XFLR5. So after you open XFLR5, click on File tab, choose Wing and Plane Design. Then click on the uh, Wing Plane tab, select Define a New Plane. Since I already have a plane that's defined, I'll click on Current Plane and Edit. We'll be looking at the same exact window. Now I'll define my main wing. You should pause the video here if you would like to copy my same dimensions. Now I'll define my body or the fuselage. You can edit your X and Y coordinates here and switch your view by clicking on the coordinate system. The coordinate system is off to the right. You can switch between the windows and your views over here. I'll define the elevator. You should pause the video here if you'd like to copy my dimensions. I'll change my corner, uh, corner dimensions based on an AutoCAD file that I have for the plane I'm trying to define. And once you're done changing your dimensions, you can go ahead and hit save and close. I already have a wing shape that's imported onto the system, and that's why I'm able to choose a foil type. I have another video that will show you how to upload a foil onto XFLR5. I'll link it to the description and also in the video. Okay, so once that's done, I'll uh, try to define my vertical stabilizer or the fin. Now pressing down on the middle mouse button should allow you to rotate uh, your vertical stabilizer within the 3D space. I'll define the dimensions for my fin. You can go ahead and copy the same dimensions if you like. I'll save and close it. It seems there's a small glitch in the on the fin. I'll try to fix it by going into uh, my current plane and clicking on edit. And under the wing uh, or the fin, I'll select, try to see if I can change something in here. You could try to adjust your cord length and see if that helps, but um, I'll just leave it the same and hit save and close. Let me see if I can try to make it a double-sided fin, if that helps. Clicking on the define window will let, show me a sample of it. So it almost looks like a horizontal stabilizer now. Click OK and see how it renders out. Apparently it didn't seem to have made a second half of the vertical stabilizer, but it did extend it out. I'm not sure if it'll work, but um, I'll just leave it there for now.
So now I would like to run some uh, analysis on the plane that I have designed over here. Click on the analysis tab, then uh, I'd like to change my free, st free stream airspeed to 100 feet per second and I'll leave everything else the same. Click OK and on the window that's still open I'll click Analyze. It seems it's giving me a warning. Mm. Okay. So yeah, I don't think the vertical stabilizer is working out for this um, the plane. Yeah, it's giving me that error again. So I'll see if I can try to redefine it again under the wing plane tab. I'm just gonna not. I'm not gonna bother about it. I'll just leave the fin out for this analysis. Let's run the analysis again. I'll run it for all the angles of attack you have defined. So right now I have from 0 to 7 degrees. Now it's showing me the results for uh, center of pressure, lift distribution. You can uh, click on any of the, the options there. So keep in mind this analysis is only between 0 and uh, 7 degrees angle of attack. You can go ahead and mess around with it. The system will also have uh, some numbers computed out based on your analysis on the left and the right side of the page. It's also color coded to tell you your center of pressure and its distribution. Right now I'm looking at a free stream air flowing um, when the plane is exposed to a free stream air of 100 feet per second. You can clearly see the wingtip vortices in this result on both the, the wing and the horizontal stabilizer. There's also some kind of vortices on uh, on the on the slanted fin slash tail section. And this is how you run analysis analysis on XFLR5. So you can go ahead and uh, mess around with the dimensions and try to change things and see how it looks on XFLR5. And this is just a brief analysis you can go in depth with it so thank you for watching this video and uh, if you liked it please hit that like button and enjoy messing around with uh, xflr5 have fun